Mr. Stockdale has our sporadic bouts of amnesia. You know, he forgets some details here and there. But he should be back to normal in a few weeks. Well, other than that, how do you feel? Huh? I heard all of it. It's nothing too serious, though. Well, so, does this mean we can take him home like a poodle? Yes, he can live. I just get some paperwork together and you can bring him. Oh, Tony, what the godsend. No, I couldn't believe when they called me on the phone that you were alive. I just had to get here real quick, like, so I could see you with my own eyes. You can well bet we're all relieved, especially your wife. By the way, uh, a lot of your friends didn't take too kindly to the fact that you just went off and got married just like that. Charles married? What are you talking about? I do not have a wife. What about Rachel? Who are you talking about? You know, wife Rachel. Oh, look, I do not have sign to release for us. You can go home now. Here are the x-rays for his doctor. As I mentioned before, your rib is going to heal in a few weeks. And other than sporadic amnesia, there should be no problem. Amnesia? Uh, yes, not total amnesia, uh, you know, sporadic, he'll forget some details here and there, but that condition should clear up in a few weeks as well. Uh, excuse me. So maybe that's the reason why you forgot your wife. Charles, that's insane. I, I can understand forgetting a few details, but a wife? Come on, when did I supposedly get married? Well, the day before your accident. In San Francisco. Look, well, Charles, how do you know that I'm married? There's proof. There's a marriage license with your signature on it. And there's a round trip or airplane ticket to San Francisco with your name. I just don't get it. How can this possibly be? doesn't want to go along with us. Peter, it's not a matter of wanting or not wanting. She doesn't have any choice unless the three of you want to go to jail. Well, well, it's about time you showed up. We were just talking about you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what took you so long? T -t Tony's been here for hours. Yeah, Dad, I had to change planes. He has his own jet. He's not Tony. Rachel, we have to go back now. I'm not going anywhere with you. Rachel, honey, listen to me. And that's your honey. You know what, Max? I've thought about this. I don't care if you throw me in jail. I'm not going to play your stupid game. Honey. Dad! I'm getting a lawyer, and I'm telling him the whole story. We'll see who goes to jail. Um, just what story are you going to tell this lawyer of yours? That you've lied to me? That you pretended to be Tony Stockdale? And that you killed the real Tony? Don't deny it, Max. You know you had this whole thing planned from the start. Who's gonna believe you? Who's gonna believe any of you? I have something to tell you. Did you know that Peter here, your father, sells stolen goods? Hmm? Go on. Tell her. Tell me about your pal, Roger. Go on! Is that true, Dad? Is it true? I, I, I just wanted to do something to help. My knee. No, forget my knee. I was embarrassed, Rach. I, I was embarrassed because you were the only one that was bringing home any money. I and mean, I, 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 I just I had to do something. How'd she test him, Peter? Really? Rachel, I don't want to hurt you. 
I don't want to hurt your family. The fact is, Tony's dead, and I had nothing to do with it. So stop acting like a child and get the program. You know, that is such a... Max, I have always prided myself on being a nice person. If I do this, I'm going to be lying. Lie? You're not lying. You married Tony Stockdale, didn't you? No, I married you. Or at least that's what I thought. I won't do it. I don't care what you say, I won't do it. So you're telling me you'd rather go to jail with your father and sister, is that it? Yeah, I mean, you'll be going to jail with us. Mm -mm. I told you before, Rachel, my family has enough money to drown your lawyer in paperwork for the rest of his life. My name won't even surface. Your family will get the blame for Tony's death, and who knows, you might even get the death sentence. Rachel, Rachel. You're right, honey. Maybe right, please. Please think this through. Look at all of them. I'm just an old drunk. But, but, but you and your sisters, you've got your whole lives ahead of you, honey. Please think about it. Yeah, but what happens if somebody finds out? Trust me. No one will ever find out. Good afternoon, sir. I am a reporter from the Sun Times. Um, are you related to Mrs. Rachel Stockdale? Yeah. I'm her father. Oh, great. May I ask you a few questions? Look, I, uh, I don't know. Well, you know, um, our readers are very interested in, in knowing how she met such a wealthy man. We'll have to excuse her. She's taking this whole tragedy rather hard. Oh, is she the widow? I mean, Mrs. Stockdale? That's right. Well, do you think I could have a few words with her? I mean, it will, it will be a very small interview. You know, our readers are so interested in, your, in the story that's going on. And, and I just... Ma'am, I don't think that's going to be possible. She's not feeling very well. But I'm sure her father... Wouldn't mind answering a few questions, would you? Excuse me, are you a member of the family? Just a friend. So, Mr. Swanson, um, may I ask you a few questions? Uh, uh, yeah. so, oh, there's your daughter with Tom Stockdale. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Right, we'll see you soon. Bye. What did he say? They're leaving the hospital in a few minutes. Was it really Tony? It most certainly was. I don't know how he did it. Anybody else would have been dead. He's got more lives than a cat. Was he hurt? He seemed okay. Banged up, but fine. <laughs> this is incredible. I mean, it, it's really a miracle. Well... Barney, where the hell have you been? The service has been looking for you and Rachel for over two hours. Does Rachel even know that Tony's alive? Barney, where have you been? Aren't you all right? Where's Rachel? I was just asking her the same question. You have no manners, if you ask me. Ma'am, may I stay with you alone, please? Of course you can. Come with me. Well, thank you, Mr. Swanson. Do you think I could have this photograph? You know, it's the only one where they're together. With their marriage so fast and all. No, I don't. Oh, please, I promise to bring it back to you. Miss, I don't think it's a good idea. See, this is the only thing Rachel has to remind her of Tony. You understand? Yeah, but oh, really, I'll bring it back to you. I said no. Well, thank you for the interview, Mr. Swanson. I must be going now. Peter. She's gone. Is she gone? Yes, she's gone. What did you tell her, Dad? Honey, I don't know. 
Lawrence. You did this, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Great, isn't it? Rachel, honey, why don't we get back? Get back to Acapulco. I got a jet waiting at the airport. What do you say? What do you mean she went back to San Francisco? I don't know. I, I think she's going nuts. If, if it's okay, do you think maybe I could go back too? For heaven's sakes, that means that she left before we found out Tony's alive. Yeah, she did. But well, you should have said something to me. I, your son. You want me to say anything? I don't want Max to do a thing like that. I have no idea. Listen, do you think that I could just maybe get out of here? Um, do you think you could please ask the guard at the gate to let me go? Well, you're free to go anytime. Anytime you want to. No one's holding you here against your will. Are we? No, and I imagine that Rachel went back because she just couldn't stand studying here without Tony. We ought to call her. We ought to call her and tell her he's alive. What's the number? She, she just left with, uh, Tony, I mean, uh, Max. Well, where'd they go? They went back down there. Here? Yeah, Max, uh, Max convinced her into going along with everything, and really, honey, I think it's for the best. But, Dad, Tony's alive. What? Yeah, he's alive, um... He's coming back here right now from some hospital somewhere. What? What are you talking about? Isn't that great? What are we gonna do? Look, um, I'll call you back in a little while, okay? Okay, bye, Daddy. Rachel's coming back? Yeah, Max is bringing her back. Oh, how wonderful! Max went up there to get her. Do you know they're going to be here after Tony gets here? Oh, she's going to be so excited to see him. I just can't wait. You comfortable, Tom? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, Charles. Charles, what is Rachel's last name? Swartz. You said she lives from San Francisco? Mm -hmm. Tony, why don't you uh, go up there to San Francisco and get yourself checked up by a specialist? Check into the hospital. Yeah. Well, evidently Rachel flew back to San Francisco. That's what I did to bring her back. Why'd she leave? Well, I imagine it's because she. She felt out of place here. She just married Tommy and thought he was dead. She's going to be so happy when she sees him. I'll say she didn't fit in. Camille, I will not tolerate that attitude. She's your brother's wife. Oh, sure. Anything Tony does is worshipped by you. Well, that may be true. Tony's always been very considerate of me. I'll stand by his decision. Don't you think Max has been getting rather friendly with Rachel? Well, on that note, I think it's time I leave. You're not going to wait for Tony? No, I want to come back tomorrow when things have calmed down a bit. So you can see him privately. That way you can make him understand the mistake he's made by marrying someone else. You never get tired, do you, Camille? <laughs> she can't take a joke, can she? I'm sure she'd rather have Tony dead than married to someone else. <laughs> See you later, darling. Where are you going? Well, I'm off to freshen my drink. I want to drink to your brother's continued health. I'll join you. Sure, why not? 
You know, Rachel actually is a rather attractive woman, don't you think? You find every woman attractive. What's that supposed to mean? You think I don't know what you and Frank do when you go out on the town at night? At least it's not like you're an angel. You and Maura aren't exactly wallflowers. Well, let's now. just stop for a Fine by me. Don't even think about it. Okay, how long is it? Been? I don't care. I said back off. I don't want to back off. I want to have fun. Some things I can't remember. Oh, no. I mean, the doctor said it's because of the injuries on my head, but it'll be back in a couple of weeks. Like what? Well, for one, I don't remember getting married. But Tony, you got married the day before the accident in San Francisco. I don't even remember being in San Francisco. But we found a ticket with your name on it. Max went up to San Francisco, he went to the city hall, and he checked it all out, and you are well and truly married. Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, how could I have forgotten something like that? I, I don't even remember what this girl looks like. I don't want being married to her. I mean, Charles said that I just went off and got married. I didn't tell a soul, not even you. That is not like me. No, it's not. Not at all. But boy, if you did it, you must have had a reason. For what reasons? I mean, I just don't get it. Where is she? I'd love to see her. Well, she went back to San Francisco. How would she possibly do that? I mean, she was very upset by your death. That hit her very hard. Oh, honey. She wanted to go back right after the memorial service, and I had to talk her out of it. You know, there were all those reporters around you. I mean, what if they'd gotten hold of something like that? They would have had a field day with We introduced her as my wife. My widow? Of course I did. Her picture was in the morning paper. I mean, do you have it? If I see, I, if I see it, maybe I'll remember something. I'll go and get it for you. <sighs> Here. Do you remember her? No. I could just lie here all day. Why well, don't? Mm, we can't. We should get dressed. Tony will be back soon. What are you 
going to do? Look, I don't know. She is pretty, though. You say that everyone knows that we're married. Yeah. All of our friends, the press, everybody. We did say that we'd met her before. What? Well, we thought it would be best to stretch the truth a little bit. Oh, tell me. The papers were just full of your accident. Who in the world knows what they would have done if they'd known that there was an unexpected wife in the bar? Well, Victoria, how in the world did she get here, and how do you know about it? Well, Max found your marriage certificate and her telephone number in your bedroom. We called her, and she flew right down. From San Francisco? Yes. She was very shocked to hear from us, too. Evidently, you hadn't told her about all of this. You told her that, well, she claims that you told her that you worked for a construction company, that you had no immediate family. But what kind of woman is she? She's very nice. She's very nice. She's not very refined, though. I think she comes from a poor family. A poor family? Well, not starving, mind you, but... Tell me! I don't know how to say this to you. You don't know how depressed I was thinking I'd never see you again. It's good to see you too, Camille. Now, you held a memorial service for me after my, uh, death. It is not that easy to get rid of me. I know, I guess we'll have to try again. Tony! Hi, Clark. Back from hell, I see. Just felt like hell, but I'm back. I'm fine. Well, we'll forgive you for returning from the dead, but we won't forgive you for getting married and not telling anyone. Well, I wanted to surprise everyone. No kidding. You surprised everyone, all right? Where'd you meet her on a street corner? Camille! Victoria, it's all right. Look, what Camille doesn't know is that the women I meet on street corners are much nicer than her friends. Are you referring to Mara? You should have seen her face when she met Rachel. How could you marry a woman like that? What, did you get her pregnant? Now, Camille, that will be enough. Now, you said your hellos. I think it's time if both of you left so the tonight can get some rest. Jeez, will you mellow out, Victoria? Like this has anything to do with you. Well, Camille, it is her business. So watch your mouth. Okay. I'm sorry, Victoria. Just keep a certain respect for her. Is that clear? Yes, it's crystal clear. I'm just glad that you're back and you're okay. So am I, Tony. Thank you both. See you in the morning. Good night. That was a very good choice. <laughs> what do you mean? Not letting on that you can't remember about your marriage to Rachel, to Clark, and Camille. Camille's the biggest gossip in town. What are you going to tell Rachel when you see her? I have no idea. But maybe when I see her, I'll remember something. I hope so. Oh, but don't worry. Now, Victoria, what does someone have to do in order to get some food around? Oh, for heaven's sake, Tony, I'm sorry. Hold on. Just Thank oh. you. Juanita! I'm sorry, dear. Rachel. Rachel. It's Tony. He survived the crash. I don't know how, but it's a miracle. He's really here. The hospital called us from Iguala. There's some peasants to Max. Max told him alive. That's amazing. It's good to see you. Oh, well, honey, you look like you've seen a ghost, but it's Tony. It really is Tony. Yes, it is. You're shocked, aren't you? Look, I waited up for you all night. Let's go to sleep now. Why is he alive? What? I mean, uh, how did he survive? I don't know. But he can't remember getting married. Really? 
Oh, he's had a concussion. Evidently, he has a touch of amnesia. He doesn't remember a few things. That's fascinating. What kind of things can he remember? I don't know. I hope it's just temporary. I think he should go to the States and have a good checkup with a specialist. You know what bothers me? Is Rachel's reaction. She didn't even seem happy to, to see him. She didn't even kiss him or anything. so sure about this. I noticed. Come on in. Hi. Listen, Tom, uh, my mother just told me about your loss of memory. I just came to say I'm sorry. I heard that you can't remember your marriage or Rachel. Thanks, Max. It would have been nice if I could have told her on my own. I'm sorry, dude. I... I, I, the real reason I came here was to tell Rachel that her sister's disappeared. Marnie? When? I've only seen her for several hours. Well, uh, what do you mean she disappeared? She, Rachel? Did, could someone please fill me in here? What sister? Rachel's sister, Marnie. That's, I think it's best if you come with me and we go take a look. Um, look, I know there's some things I cannot remember, well, but oh this my, is... We have to find her. I mean, maybe she's hurt somewhere. Maybe she got scared. Scared of what? Well, Rachel left the grounds without telling anybody before, remember? So maybe Marnie did the same and she got scared and split. Well, Max, look, if Rachel left the grounds without telling anyone, how did you know she was in San Francisco? I assume. You guys, come on. I have to find her. She's my sister. All right, look. Max, you go find Marnie. Rachel, you're going to stay here with me. No, I am not staying here with you. Okay, this is my sister, and I need to know if something happened to her. Wait. Wait. Stop. What? Where are you going? Where do you think I'm going? I'm going to find Marnie. I bet you she saw Tony and she freaked out. Look, I'm going to ask a guard if he saw her leave. My mom said that no one left the ground, so she's got to be here somewhere. Yeah, well, we have to find her. Come on in. Pleasant surprise to see you again, sir. See you, too. Mrs. Stockdale thought you might enjoy some broth. Thank you, James. Thank you. Oh, you're not hungry, sir? James, when Rachel got here, did she look sad? Oh, yes, sir. Extremely sad. In fact, Mrs. Stockdale had to give us some money to calm her down. Anything else? Well, come on, James. Rachel and her sister weren't dressed appropriately for the memorial service, so Camille had to loan them some clothes. <laughs> well, who welcomed them into the house? Max? Oh, no, sir. He was gone. Um, he didn't get back till late that night. What else? Come on, tell me. I don't want to be indiscreet, sir. James, please. Well, when Mike's arrived, he asked me about your wife. What? I told him that she was in her bedroom. He said to me that he needed to talk with her and that I shouldn't let anyone know he was back. What else? Well, next morning, I found Rachel in the garden. She said she hadn't slept very well. She was very sad. She asked me if I had a picture of you. Uh -huh. Well, I took her to the office and I gave her one. That's it. That's it, huh? Anything else? 
Okay. Thanks for coming, James. Appreciate it. Good night, sir. Yeah, good night. Sir, I'm very happy you're back. Thank you, James. Good to be back. <laughs> scared the guard at the gate he won't let me go is Tony here yeah he is did he see you it doesn't matter girls because you see Tony thinks he has some sort of amnesia so all we have to do is take advantage of the situation and continue with our plan no we're not what are we supposed to do tell him the truth he'll destroy us and throw both you in jail and keep you there he didn't do anything wrong you're the one that tricked us into this whole thing you got any proof on that? Besides your word, your sister's, or your drunken father's. You know what, Nick? Stop it. I've had it with the two of you. Now you're going to play along, and you're going to do what I tell you to do, and we have to be thankful for this amnesia thing because it's a blessing. But what if he realizes the truth? He can remember whatever he wants. He just won't remember his courtship or his marriage to Rachel. The rest will remain a blank spot. Girls, you don't have any choice. It's either him or you go to jail. Oh, yeah. How can I pretend to be his wife? I don't even know him. What if he wants to go to bed with me? It's a good point. Okay, you simply say that you're angry at him because he didn't tell you that he was rich or that he didn't tell you about his family. I don't know, tell him you have a headache. Tell him something doesn't really make any difference because you could ask for a divorce on the grounds alone that he'd lied to you. Ask for a divorce because he didn't tell me he was a millionaire. Don't you think that's stupid? All right, I'll think of something. And I'll try to devise a way so no one will get hurt. In the meantime, you two do what I tell you to do. You play along and you be calm. Understand it. I always seem so close. Yeah, but close is not good enough. I know I owe you a ton of money. Yeah, it's a good thing you have a rich wife. Well, that's for sure. The brother's the problem. Why? Because I despise asking him for money. Clark, he knows I can't when he hates it. Yeah, but you could get a job like everybody else and what? work for your living. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> I'd die. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Oh, I don't exactly see you sweating it out. <laughs> Look, my mother left me some property, bless her stupid soul. <laughs> oh, she must have left you a lot of buildings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, and I have some other business on the side. Like what? Tell you what, why don't we play some more? No, 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 I can't, I can't do another one. Yeah. Come on, I'll lend you some money. Here you go. All right, but this is the last one. Yeah, sure it is. Let me see. Dos en los rojos y... Dos en los azules. <laughs> I mean it this time. Yeah, I know you do. Here, have a little extra for tidbits. You can buy dinner with my money.
your sister. Uh, yeah, this is Marty. Why are you introducing us? Shouldn't I already know her? Yeah, well, I just thought that you wouldn't remember. Hi. Where are you then? I was, um, I was out in the garden looking, waiting for Rachel. <sighs> Look, it's really late, and I think we should go to bed. And where are you going to bed, sweetheart? Victoria gave us a bedroom when we got here. Uh, your room is my room. That's where you'll stay. Listen, Tone, or maybe, you know, she's right. And you're not 100%. Maybe you ought to sleep alone, you know, until you get your strength back. Thanks, Max. But I didn't ask for your advice. Look at Tony, I think Max is right. I think it'd be better if you just rested for yourself for a few days. Look at, I have a really bad headache. I don't want to talk to Marty alone. That is a huge list of excuses. They're not excuses. It's the truth. But fine. I'm not going to force you to do a thing against your will. Fine. Let's go. Let's go. Good night. Good night. Max. Yeah. Don't leave here tomorrow. Without first coming and talking to me. Why? Don't ask why. Just do it. Not stand him. He is so conceited. He's also very good looking. Don't you think he's hot? No, I think he's a jerk, just like Max. Marty, what are we going to do? Well... You want to hear what I think? Go ahead. If I were you, pretend to be his wife. The guy is great looking and incredibly wealthy. What more could you possibly want? I am telling you, for some bizarre reason, I know that he knows he never married me. Well, you don't have to say anything, just play along. Marnie, he knows. I know he does. I can see it in his eyes. <laughs> 